I was shocked to learn that pads, tampons, and other menstrual products are taxed as luxury goods. I suspect it's because men were making the law. Right, Mr. President, men made the tax laws. 50 years ago, German lawmakers, who were all men, decided to tax feminine hygiene essentials like tampons with the highest rate of 19%. But things like caviar, oil paintings or truffles with only 7%. So tampons are the real luxury? Menstruation is luxury? Breaking the law wasn't an option for the female company, an online shop for feminine hygiene products. So how could we sell tampons for 7% instead of 19? We outsmarted the law with the law itself by selling tampons packaged as a book, because books are also only taxed with 7%. Hello to the tampon book. A book that is a packaging for tampons to save taxes. A book that is a provocative message of existing gender inequality in our tax system. Filled with 15 tampons and 40 pages of explicit content about your period. Your period that is still treated as something to be embarrassed of. The book sold out within a day. The second edition within a week. It put the unfair tax system on the agenda of influencers and media. 1650 Euro Steuern zahlt jede Frau in ihrem Leben nur für Tampons. Germany's largest TV network started to put pressure on the German Ministry of Finance. The message became a political message, too political for Facebook, which temporarily banned the content. Leading female politicians and members of the German parliament started sharing the tampon book. The petition on change.org got more than 150,000 signatures. And now? The German Committee on Legal Affairs must officially debate the tampon tax.